Hey, I'm Adam from Aerial Motion Photography, and in this video, I'm gonna be flying the Mini 2 for the very first time. This drone came out yesterday, and I was lucky enough to pick one up. I have the Fly More Combo. If you wanna see my unboxing, click on this link up here. So I have the beautiful Mini 2. It's like a clone of the original Mini, but it has 4K, a lot better signal, and a little bit stronger. So we're gonna give that a test. Also, one of my favorite things already, without even flying it, is the new remote. It's the same one from the Mavic Air 2, which I love, OcuSync 2.0. It's gonna be a big time improvement. One of my biggest, I guess, issues with the first Mavic Mini was always connection. Um, there's not a lot of time when I get to be out in the wild like this, or I kind of live more towards the city and the beaches and we have a lot of Wi-Fi, so it's always messing up with the signal. If I fly kind of on the other side of a building, it gets lost, and um, there's nothing worse than like your picture going black, you can't find the drone, and you just have your fingers crossed hoping it comes home. With this thing, it says it can go 10 kilometers, so I'm gonna wanna test that out as well. But let's get this sucker in the air. So before this video, I linked up the DJI Care Refresh, which is the insurance package, and I really recommend you guys doing that. It's about 10% of the price of the drone, and you get two replacements. The replacements cost like 39 and 59 bucks, and basically, if you wanna hear more about it, click on this video up here, but anytime you're gonna send your drone in for a repair, one hour is gonna be 60 bucks, and that's not even counting the parts, so it's definitely worth it, and then you have the peace of mind that you can fly and maybe do a little bit more dangerous things without feeling like you're gonna lose your 500 bucks. Take off this cool propeller protector. Check that over there. And we also have the gimbal protector, really similar. The way that it comes off, you just push right there and then you kind of pop it off like that. It's a little bit hard to do, so don't worry about breaking it. You just kind of push hard and pop it, um, and you'll get used to it. So I'll put that in my pocket, unfold this. You guys know the drill. If you want to know how to set up your drone in about five minutes, you can click on this video up here. It has some good tips just on how these things work and folding them up and stuff like that. So let's do that. And then, of course, put the propeller sticks on. Very easy. They're stored right there. I love these um, controller sticks. They are very responsive, and I kind of like how they're a little bit longer than some of the other drones, and they have a nice just feel to your finger. You don't want to push too hard because they can kind of leave a dent, but who's really pushing that hard anyways. I really like how the new controller, the phone mounts on the top. So the way it goes is pull it out like that. There's a cable inside there. It comes with three different cables, um, the lightning, a USB-C, and then one for, I'm not really sure what it's called, but basically covers all phones and tablets. What's nice about this is you can actually use it with your case on. and you just plug it in just like that. To turn on the remote, hold down once, and then hold it down like that. It turns on easily. And to turn on the drone, there's the button right there. Hold it down once, and then push it down. And then you'll see it'll go through its sequence. Okay, now that I have everything turned on, this drone uses the DJI Fly app. So I'm gonna turn it on like this. It wants me to hold the drone straight. Get a nice view of it. One thing that's cool is it has this kind of like LED in the front. That's one thing that I noticed that's different. And let's see, let's put it up in the sky. So to launch it, you can either push both propellers in like this, or you can hold the button right here. For this time, let's hold the button. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Wow. 
That was easy. Let's go 4K, 30 frames per second. That's what everybody's been wanting, so that's what we're gonna get. Let's turn on. So right now I'm on auto settings, no filters. I'm not messing with the manual, just straight out of the box, flying into the sun. These minis are so fun to fly. So fun to fly. You gotta remember though, they only have downward facing sensors, so just be extra careful you don't crash. Taking it up. It's going six and a half miles an hour up, so that's pretty good for a normal. What a beautiful day for a first flight. Normal mode, taking it out over the lake. Beautiful. Still has perfect signal. The display looks amazing. It looks like the feed is a lot clearer than the original Mavic Mini. It's beautiful, all these colors. I can't wait to plug it into the computer to really see. Taking it up like that. Let's do a nice spin around. Cinema mode, which is extra slow. Do a nice little pan. If it's jittery, I drink some coffee before, and I don't really drink coffee. So it's my fingers. Wow, so smooth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you want to watch a video on how to get really cinematic shots, click on this up here. I give the five best shots that are actually easy to do, but when you put them all together, you can get some amazing, amazing footage. Switch it back to normal. Flying back, angling. Increasing the altitude, wow. I gotta be careful because I don't know this area and flying backwards, you gotta be careful. Looks like I'm all good. I don't wanna lose the mini on the first flight. Let's do a bird's eye view, start recording. Hold on. Let's drop it in sport mode. Nice, wow, it's fast. It's already going 34 miles an hour. 35, that's insane. This motor upgrade is big time. It has the stronger props and a little bit more powerful batteries and motor. It can stand level five. These gimbal movements are very good nice and smooth even in sport mode wow look at that let's go see what this boat's doing I can hear it. this is crazy it's just cranking it's keeping up with this speedboat and we're going into the wind. Let's do some zoom and you just press on the screen like that. Wow, 2X is crazy. Like it really gives that shallow depth of field. I wonder how the quality is gonna look. That'll be interesting. The colors still look amazing. I'm just smiling. 
my first impressions, I'm just really impressed with this drone. Um, the display, it's just amazing. These colors, 4K with this little drone. It's really doing some high quality video. And it really reminds me of the Mavic Air 2, which is my favorite drone right now. Out of all the drones that I have, I'm finding that to be the one that I'm using. And just with my experience, I've had almost all of them and I've flown almost every DJI drone. Phantom 4 Pro Plus, Mavic Air Original, Mavic Air 2, Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom. You guys get the idea. But I'm having a lot of fun. And what's really cool about this OcuSync 2.0 is I'm not stressing about the signal. Let's crank the altitude up. So we're in sport mode. And it was going about 6.5 in normal mode. And now in sport mode, it's going up at 11 miles an hour. Let's try some photos. It has spear, 180, and wide angle. That wide angle looks pretty fun. How's the lighting? Spinning around, trying to find good lighting. Let's see. I don't know. Let's just give it a try. Let's try wide angle. And then in these auto modes, you don't have to do anything. It's taking just a bunch of pictures and it's just got to stitch them all together. It does a really good job. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, take like four or five pictures and then put them in Lightroom and merge. But I've always been really impressed with how well the software does it automatically. So let's try the 180. For the 180, it's just turning on the horizon. It's not going up or down. And back to this normal place. Let's try a sphere. These are always really cool. Let's go up higher. Let's try this one. So it's just taking pictures in every single direction. And what it's going to do is it's going to just mash them all together. And it's just going to give you, it's almost like you're just looking at a, the planet from up above. It's really impressive, especially for people that don't have drones. They probably think that you're just an amazing photographer if you could pull it off, but they don't realize that all you did was just press one button. We're at 29% battery, so I want to bring it home. Put it back in 4K, 30 frames per second, sport mode. Let's press return to home and see how that works. Go home. Let's pause it. This is actually I'm going to pause it because there's a pause button, which is really cool. Let's see. So I turn off the video because I want to get a photo. So you click this up here to switch the modes. I always see people with the coolest shots, these head over shots, and they're in like Iceland or something, and the water's just crystal blue, and it just has these little like ponds. So I've always been, it's giving me the battery warning. I'm already Battery the level on the is first low. Flight, the aircraft really will go to the shot. home point in 10 seconds. Let's see. I wonder if it'll do, oh yeah, auto exposure bracketing. This could be really cool. It can do a HDR. That's always really fun to do in Lightroom. It does it automatically. You just merge the three together. And yeah, let's bring it home. We're at 22%. So I just press return to home. I'm still in sport mode. Bird's eye view filming in 4K, 30 frames per second. What I always wanted for the Mavic Mini is 4K. And now that it has 4K, stronger motors, these propellers, the better OcuSync, I mean, I'm feeling as confident as I would as flying a bigger drone, which is crazy because with the Mini 1, it was awesome and it was fun, but it was always a little sketchy and um, landing. Oh, it's right up above us. That scared me for a second. So it's coming down. Okay, so it's coming down. I am under some trees. So 
I'm going to take it, when it gets a little bit closer, I'm going to turn off the return to home and bring it in manually. Because if you see where it's coming right now, it's going to land right in the trees. So I'll press that pause button. How do you turn return to home off? I hear it. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 Very seconds. The limit. This is something I did not want to do. Now it's in Chinese. I mean, shoot. Come on, come home. Critically Critically low, low battery. Battery. Damn it. Okay. How many feet am I going? Distance? Oh, that's going closer. Okay. I can hear it. Okay, it's right above me. Okay, I see it. Come on. We're at 8%. Come on. That gave me a miniature heart attack. 7%. Okay. Don't do that. Take off somewhere where it can land without a tree canopy. I'm kind of in a sketchy spot because I'm trying to block the wind for better audio. Now that like 30 seconds or a minute's gone by after that, my heart rate's, you know, returning to normal. Um, I can actually talk about my thoughts yeah thoughts this is what I'm doing I'm doing a first flight review my thoughts so what are my thoughts awesome exact clone of the first one tiny little difference these are a little stronger stronger props but I really really noticed the power of the motors that was big time um, I don't think I ever got the Mavic Mini over 30 miles an hour and this was pushing well over that and it was pretty windy up there too um, 4k the screen looks amazing and I did not lose connection at all and I'm standing kind of I mean we are in the middle of nowhere but at the same time there are things that are blocking like the signal so the OcuSync 2.0 um, two thumbs up for the 2.0 and two thumbs up for the mini 2 thank you for watching this video if you found it entertaining educational combination of the both give it a big thumbs up that means a lot to me i really appreciate it subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like these i'm going to be making a lot of mavic minis i gotta start saying it's just called the mini 2 so i'm going to be making i want to make a lot of mini 2 videos i've been really excited to get this um, so if you want to subscribe and then obviously turn on those notifications so you'll be notified when i upload my newest videos as always my name's adam fly safe take care